Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and this is the video that I know a ton of you have been waiting for. This is how I use Nova Launcher and my Nova Launcher setup for 2018. So the apps that you need to actually get this done is of course Nova Launcher, and I would always go for the Prime version, as this is a paid application, helps out the developer, but it also gives you a ton more in terms of customized features. You're also going to need an application called See Some Shortcuts and what this is going to allow you to do is to get those shortcuts when long pressing on an application that you get in newer versions of Android. I would also recommend getting the Google Now APK which is linked in the description down below to allow you to get full Google Now access while using Nova Launcher. And lastly then we've got widgets and icon packs which is completely down to you guys but the ones that I'm currently using are on screen now which is the Wolfie widget pack and the Frozy icon pack. So let's take a look. Okay, so I've got my Moto Z all set up and ready to go. I've put it back to all original settings. It's got the standard stock launcher on there, which is actually the Google Now launcher. So it does look like pretty much stock Android running a version of Android 7, but it can't really do much in terms of customization. I want to add some of my own icons, move some things around, change the grid sizes, and you can't really do that with any stock launcher. So obviously the first thing that you want to do is go ahead, get the newest version of Nova Launcher and also the Nova Launcher Prime as I mentioned beforehand, because then that's going to allow you to make a setup much like mine that you've got here. I've got some custom icons installed, I've also got a custom widget installed as well, and this can only really be achieved with certain grid sizes and moving around certain customization features that you don't get with most normal launchers. So jumping into the settings of Nova Launcher, just by long pressing on the home screen, the first thing that you want to do is set it as your default launcher. Once you've done that, anytime you then press on your home button, it's going to take you back to Nova Launcher instead of taking you back to any other launcher. So once you get this message, just click on always, and that way when I then go and press the home button, it's going to take me straight back to where I was beforehand, and that's really what you want. You don't want to be mixing around between different launchers. As long as you set Nova as your default launcher, you're set and ready to go. Now to get this out of the way at the start, in regards to the icon pack that I'm currently using, that is the Frozy or Frozy icon pack, and for me it's a really nice icon pack with some really nice icons, and the colours are really good, it's really vibrant, and as you can see here, on any sort of home screen it's going to look extremely nice. They're quite bold colours, they're very big in terms of the icon size that I've got set, which we'll go into in just a moment, but you can see here that it does look extremely nice on this dark wallpaper that I've got in regards to what I'm currently using. In terms of the widget that I'm using, that is from the wallpaper widget pack and I've also customized it to say copper versus glass at the top instead of what it did have beforehand which was just app draw so again if you guys want to see any in-depth videos in regards to widgets then let me know by hitting that like button down below but this is more about Nova Launcher and the setup that I'm currently using so let's have a look in terms of the settings so once you head into the settings on my Nova Launcher, when I go to my desktop and go to desktop grid, you can see that I've actually got it set up pretty standard. It's just 6x5, it's not too crazy, but it does allow me to move around certain widgets and icons to get the look and feel that I actually want. The icon layout as well that I've got currently is 130% in terms of the icon size, so I do like having them a little bit bigger, but with the AMOLED screen and a really nice bright icon pack, I think it looks really nice. I've also removed any labels as well, just to get a bit of a cleaner feel to my my home screen. In regards to other desktop settings, I've got persistent search bar turned off at the moment, because as you can see, I've actually got it down here in my dock, much like on the Google Pixel launcher. I didn't want to have anything at the top, I just wanted my custom widget at the top there. Once you've got that sorted, then you go down page indicator, I've got turned off because I really only have one home screen on any Android device that I'm currently using, and that's pretty much it in terms of the desktop settings. Heading then into the app drawer and widgets, for me the app drawer grid, again 6x5 so that I can get all of the applications on my home screen that I need, and it's not going to really be too cluttered in terms of the app drawer. The icon layout again is going to be at 130%, I do have the normal font with a size of 130 again, and the white font, no shadow and everything on a single line because that just looks a little bit cleaner for me. I've got the frequently used apps turned off because I didn't want them at the top there because the apps that I use on my Android device is more icon packs and wallpapers for you guys that's all it would show at the top so for me it's not necessarily very useful however if you do have an Android device that is your daily driver then this is a great way to get access to those frequently used applications really quickly. I've also then got the swipe to open turned on and the swipe indicator and the background that I currently have at the moment is black and around 30% transparency. Now you can if you want have a white card background to mimic what you're going to get on the Google Pixel but for me you can see here I've got the swipe indicator and I can swipe up pretty much anywhere down here to get access to my app drawer and again because of how vibrant this icon back is I've got a darker wallpaper to really make them pop. 
If you had some wallpapers or a screen that isn't necessarily high saturation, then you might want to have a white background just so you can see things a little bit easier and it has a really nice clean look to it. Next up then we have the dock and this is where you can make your device look a lot like the Google Pixel 2 simply with this option here for search bar in dock. Once you've gone in there you can click on below icons and then as you can see here it's going to mimic the Google Pixel 2 by putting the search bar in the dock and below the icons to get easy access to Google. Now for me that's a really awesome option to have and it's something that I really enjoy with Nova Launcher. They have a lot of updates that come out that bring a lot of features over from the newest version of Android over to older devices that don't necessarily have the newest version installed. In regards to my dock background again I have this on white and around 70% kind of getting the look and feel of what you're going to get on the Google Pixel 2. In regards to my dock icons I have the standard amount of 5 and in regards to the icon layout they're going to be 130% and again no labels at all to get a really clean look to it. In regards to the width padding and the height padding I have that set to none and then medium on the height as for me that gives a really nice advantage down the bottom here. If you long press on the search bar you can change the height to go a little bit taller or you can have it go a little bit taller again and then back down to a shorter amount. For me I like having that on a medium because for me it just looks nicer and it's not too cramped down the bottom. In regards to the next bit, it's kind of up to you if you want to use this feature or not, but for me, I've actually got some folders within my application drawer. I don't like it being too cluttered and having to search through all of my apps to find exactly what I need, so I've got mainly my Google applications in here easily to get access to, and then I've got folders here for icons, launchers, social, wallpapers and also all of my widgets as well and again this is really simple to do so heading back into the settings and going into the folders this allows you to change the preview so for me I have it on grid because I like seeing a little bit of a preview of what's in the actual folder itself I've got the pixel launcher for the folder background and again in terms of the icon size 130% black normal font and normal so again looking pretty nice so you need to actually head back into the app and widget drawers to get folders in the app drawer itself. And then what you want to do is go down to the draw groups down the bottom here, go into draw groups and go over to folders. You can then add any folder that you need to and then add any applications that you need to as well. So if I go into the icon one for example, you can then select what you want and I've got all of the icon packs ticked so that when I go into my app drawer, go into my icons, I know that everything's there and easy to get to. The look and feel option is where you can change the icon theme, so again as I mentioned beforehand I'm using the Frozy icon pack at the moment but I've got a ton here to choose from and again these are really easy to find over in the Play Store. In regards to the scroll speed I keep that on fast as it's a little bit above what would be stock on my Motorola device. App animation I keep that as the system so I don't want to override anything and again the pop-up star menu I've got that to the normal block so again it's going to mirror what you're going to find on Android Oreo 8.1. I also have the show notification bar turned off, so for me I don't have any notification bar at the top there, I don't really see the need for it all that much, it's got the time on there and things like that, but again that's all integrated into the widget that I'm currently using on my home screen. Next up we've then got the integration with the shortcuts that I mentioned beforehand. Now this is a standalone application which integrates into Nova Launcher, but it then allows you to press on the home screen to get quick access to using these shortcuts. So if I long press on YouTube for example, I can quickly go to my subscriptions, search trending or my watch later and again if I go to Google Photos brings up options to clear space and the I'm feeling lucky option. Now I don't necessarily use this feature all that much, it's a little bit like using the force touch feature on the iPhone, it's something that kind of goes into the background and you don't really use it all that often but if you do want to use something very quickly with Instagram for example to get a new post then this is a great way to do so. Now I'm going to put a link in the description down below to get access to this website here as this is then going to allow you to download the APK file that you need to get the Google Now Launcher direct on your home screen. Once you've downloaded it and installed it, you can then get full access to Google Now straight within Nova Launcher. Now this is something that wasn't readily available not too long ago and to have the integration of Google Now which is really only available on those Pixel or Nexus devices, to get that straight in a custom launcher is really good to have. It allows you to see all of the normal things that you would do with Nova Launcher and in regards to animation speed and just how smooth it is, I've got no complaints at all. But overall guys, that is going to do it for my Nova Launcher set setup and I hope you really enjoyed getting a small insight into the way that I use my Android device and the way that I use Nova Launcher. If there was anything in this video that you want me to cover in a little bit more detail then let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter or Facebook at Copper vs Glass. If you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give me a thumbs up down below so that I know you guys appreciate it and for more great content moving forward don't forget to subscribe. Also if you guys want to show any of your Nova Launcher setups for me then again go on Twitter at Copper vs 
Master's Glass, send me some examples and maybe in a future video I'll be showcasing some of those for everyone else to see. Thanks very much for watching guys, I'm Michael and I will catch you in the next video.